Hi everyone. Today we will look into how to play your Game Boy, Game Boy Color and Game Boy Advance games on a CRT. There are a couple of methods and we will look into a few of them. One of the most easily available method is using a Super Game Boy for your Super Nintendo or Super Famicom. Using a Super Game Boy is a simple and effective way of playing your Game Boy games on a CRT. Here I'm playing on my Sony BVM 20F1E professional monitor. Besides being a plug and play friendly option, the Super Game Boy also benefits from running on actual Game Boy hardware. The image and sound is crisp and uh, it works really well. The image is however letterboxed and we don't get any zoom options. This is Castlevania Belmont's Revenge and this is probably one of the best games on Game Boy and it got some fantastic music, just listen. The flicker you see in the background of this level is because the Super Game Boy can't reproduce the flicker effect which uh, the original Game Boy LCD screen had. This was something which the game producers took advantage of by creating a transparent effect. Let's instead look at some of the options you get with the Super Game Boy. You can choose from a range of color palettes. You can also change the button configuration. You can choose from different borders and uh, you also have the options to remove the border. Some of the border options are more colorful than others. In 2003, Nintendo released the Game Boy Player for the GameCube. This add-on contains the actual Game Boy Advanced hardware, and it supports Game Boy games, Game Boy Color games, and Game Boy Advance games. The Game Boy Player came with special Game Boy Player discs, which you had to have to be able to boot Game Boy games on the Game Boy Player. These discs are way too expensive nowadays, but the thing is, you actually don't need these discs to be able to boot your Game Boy Player. The homebrew community have created its own software called Game Boy Interface, and by going to the Game Boy Interface website, you can download the latest version and um, check it out. To be able to boot Game Boy Interface, you need the Swiss software. I mentioned Swiss in my other video where I described how to boot your GameCube games in widescreen. I will leave a link to Swiss and GBI in the description of this video. The Game Boy interface is far superior than Nintendo's own Game Boy Player software. For instance, the GBI allows you to boot the game in 240p, giving you a much crisper image. It also got lower latency compared to Nintendo's own software. When you install the GBI software, you will notice that there are three different editions of the software. The standard edition, the speedrun edition and the high fidelity edition. 
by creating a .cli file for any of the editions, you can save any of the options which you prefer. You can also create a .dcp file. The DCP file is basically a way to tell GBI which options you want to see when you boot it up. For instance, I want to be able to toggle between different aspect ratios, different scan modes such as non-interlace or progressive, different scan filters, and different color matrix options. So let us boot up Swiss and Game Boy interface and let us boot up the standard edition. The standard menu gives you different options such as choosing different aspect ratio, video format, video mode. You can also toggle and choose between different borders. Uh, you also have sharpening filters and many other options. The standard edition is the only version which allows you to toggle between different zoom options within a game using the gamepad. The original Game Boy had an aspect ratio of 10 by 9. So when we zoom in the image like here, it doesn't make it sharper. It actually makes it a bit more blurry. Let's try zooming in even more. As you can see here, the image gets even more blurrier when we zoom in. Let us return to Swiss and boot up the speedrun edition. According to the developer of GBI, the speedrun edition is the version which works best with CRTs. The menu we see here now is the one we compiled earlier in the DCP file. So we have the option of choosing different aspect ratio depending on if you're booting a Game Boy or Game Boy Color game or a Game Boy Advance game. We have the option of choosing non-interlace or progressive scan. We can also choose scan filters, toggle it off and on. And we can also toggle between different color matrix options. So let's try out a Game Boy game on the speedrun edition. As you can see, we got the correct aspect ratio. By the way, the screen flickering you are seeing in this video is not present in real life. It's because I couldn't get the shutter speed to match the refresh rate of the screen. It's really annoying, I wish I could do something about it. Anyway, this is the speedrun edition and uh, I think it looks really nice, uh, the aspect ratio is correct, uh, we have low latency, no artifacts, we have smooth scrolling, everything looks really nice so far. Let us try a Game Boy Color game with the same settings in the speedrun edition. This is Magical Chase on Game Boy Color, a fun shoot em up which was originally released on PC Engine in the early 90s. And this is how Game Boy Advance games looks on the speedrun edition of GBI. 
I've also switched the monitor. This is a Sony BVM D24. It's, as you can see, a 16 by 9 CRT monitor. And since the Game Boy Advance games are running at uh, an aspect ratio of 3 by 2, uh, it works really well on the 16 by 9 aspect ratio monitor. And as you can see, it looks really nice, fantastic looking colors. You can see the scan lines, they're razor sharp, and uh, yeah, it looks fantastic on this monitor. And once again, the flickering you're seeing here is not visible in real life. And it's really annoying, I really wish I could do something about it. But yeah, um, I guess that's the problem when you're recording off a CRT. And here's Game Boy Advance in 480p. I'm using the Nintendo official component cable to be able to output uh, in 480p. And as you can see, it looks great. Uh, yeah, the colors are great. Everything looks fantastic. Uh, but uh, this time around, we don't get any scan lines. So I think it's a matter of uh, what you prefer, if you prefer playing with scan lines or without scan lines, it's up to you. Uh, with the GBI software and the Game Boy Player, you get several kinds of options. So yeah, looks great. So let's try out Game Boy on the Mr. FPGA system. If you're not familiar with Mr. system, it's basically a system which emulates game consoles, handhelds, computers on a core level. It's extremely accurate and uh, there are various systems um, available for it, including Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance and other handhelds. So let's begin with Game Boy. You probably also noticed that I have once again changed the monitor. This is the Sony HDM3830. This is a 38 inch CRT monitor. It's massive, it weighs 400 pounds, 185 kilograms. Um, yeah, it's a massive uh, monitor. I will probably make a separate video of, on this monitor when I get the time. The strength of Mister is not only that it's imitating the Game Boy extremely accurately, but it's also improving upon it. For instance, we can change aspect ratio, we can uh, invert colors, we can uh, change color palettes. There's also an option to toggle frame blending. Remember that stage in Castlevania Belmont's Revenge when the background windows were flickering? Here we can toggle the frame blending on and off, so now it's not flickering any longer. Another cool option in Mister is that we can choose different screen filters. For instance, we can choose a filter that mimics an LCD screen. Here's Game Boy Color on Mister, and I'm using a screen filter that mimics the Game Boy Color, and I think it looks really good. But the core that really shines on Mister is Game Boy Advance. On this monitor it looks absolutely fantastic, it's 16 by 9 and it fills the screen really nice. Another interesting option in the Game Boy Advance Core is that you can double the resolution. 
from 240 by 160 to 480 by 320 and as you can see here in the background the details increases if you change the resolution But that's not all, the Game Boy Advance Core can also emulate the two-player link mode option in Game Boy Advance. So let's try out a game which supports the link cable uh, in Game Boy Advance. So now when we've launched F0, we can see both screens at once uh, and it emulates both player 1 and player 2. We can also change the screen orientation from vertical to horizontal. But guess what? If you have two screens connected to your mister, you can also change the screen or orientation so that player 1 is on screen 1 and player 2 is on screen 2. And this is a real game changer when it comes to mister. It allows you to play two player link game on two different screens. And here's Final Fight on GBA. We're playing two player link mode on two different screens. This is a fantastic feature of the Mister. And that's a few of the methods on how to play Game Boy games on your CRT. I hope you enjoyed this video, please leave comments in the comment section and I see you soon.